Good morning, my name is Dr Jeremy McAnulty from New South Wales Health and I'm here to give you an update on the COVID numbers for New South Wales for Saturday the 13th of November 2021. There were 250 locally acquired cases of COVID reported in New South Wales in the 24 hours wait o'clock last night. In the same period, five new cases were acquired overseas and one was acquired interstate. And there were 58,000 COVID tests reported in that same period. In terms of vaccination, 94.1% of people 16 and over have received one dose of vaccine in New South Wales and 90.8% are now fully vaccinated. In the 12 to 15 year old age group, 80.5% have had one dose and 72.4% are now fully vaccinated. In terms of hospitalizations, there are currently 228 people with COVID admitted to hospital in New South Wales with 32 in intensive care, 16 of whom require ventilation. Of the people in intensive care, 25 have not been vaccinated, four have received uh, one dose of vaccine, and three have received two doses of vaccine. In terms of sewage detections, New South Wales has an ongoing surveillance system to detect the fra uh, fragments of the virus that causes COVID in sewage systems. And this surveillance system has detected um, uh, evidence of the virus in some communities without known cases, including West Wyalong, Tomokan, Urala, and Grenfell. So people living in those communities, please be very aware of symptoms. And if you get even the mildest of symptoms, come forward for testing for COVID right away. So if you haven't had your COVID vaccine yet and you're eligible, please don't delay. Please come forward and get vaccinated at uh, one of the many clinics, uh, your GP or pharmacy around the state. Uh, New South Wales has high vaccination rates, but we all need to remain vigilant and keep each other safe from COVID infection. Uh, people aged 12 to 15 years um, uh, can access approved vaccines through state-run clinics, including their GPs and local pharmacies. And we really need to get those, uh, all those children sitting 12 to 15 uh, vaccinated, uh, even though we've got high rates in older adults. Uh, now we've reached the 90% double uh, dose milestone in New South Wales. It's important we focus also on the booster program. So people who've um, now been six months since their second dose of vaccine should get a booster dose to make sure they've got robust immunity into the future. That's available for people aged 18 and over, and that's a Pfizer booster. And in this phase of the pandemic, it's, it's uh, important that all of us keep each other safe. Um, and that helps keep the most vulnerable. So those people who are older or who have underlying medical conditions or are too young to be vaccinated, by getting vaccinated ourselves, we can help protect those most vulnerable in the community. And while the risk of infection and of severe disease is much higher in unvaccinated people, we do sometimes see outbreaks occurring among vaccinated people, particularly in indoor settings like gyms and bars and pubs. So main, please maintain those COVID safe behaviours. Wear a mask indoors when required, practice physical distancing, uh, particularly in indoor settings and maintain good hand hygiene and always check in using the Service New South Wales app. And early testing, if you have the symptoms, is really critical. Uh, please come forward if you get any symptoms for testing. So thanks everyone for coming forward for testing if you have symptoms, but also for getting vaccinated and protecting our community.